Andrea Ledson, she gave us another lesson in fascism, a key part of which is treating anybody with an opposing viewpoint as being less patriotic than you. We had various different EU politicians, the elected politicians, saying it's a good start. Of course it's very early it's days, been but it would be year. helpful. It has it would been be a helpful year, and these crucial if broadcasters issues. were willing to be a bit patriotic. The country took a decision. This government is Sorry, determined to deliver on that. Are you, are you accusing me of being unpatriotic for questioning how negotiations are going, questioning whether you have the position of strength that she said she wanted? But where do you draw the line? Because while they would call people like us unpatriotic for not believing in Brexit, I would definitely argue that Tories aren't patriotic because they knowingly caused catastrophic damage to the country for their own political gain. But maybe she's not a fascist. Maybe she genuinely believed that Brexit was best for the country and that her opponents, Remainers, were actively trying to destroy the country. Yet yeah, no, because this was her in 2013. I'm going to nail my colours to the mast here. I don't think the UK should leave the EU. I think it would be a disaster for our economy and it would lead to a decade of economic and political uncertainty at a time when the tectonic plates of global success are moving. So she knew with an absolute certainty that leaving the EU would be a disaster for the UK and deliver the years of economic damage and uncertainty that we're currently living through on top of a cost of living crisis. And yet she became one of the leaders of the Vote Leave campaign. And when the damage that she predicted to happen actually happened. She accused anybody who called that out of being unpatriotic. That is what makes her a fascist. Wielding the concept of patriotism as a sword to swing at anybody who challenges you even when you know you're wrong. And so many politicians from the Brexit supporting parties have admitted that Brexit is damaging the country and that they plan to make it worse and yet they still call their critics unpatriotic. We need to remember what patriotism actually is. Doing your best to improve the lives of people in your country whilst also maintaining your country country's moral reputation by not behaving poorly towards other countries. Patriotism is not pushing for policies that you know will ruin the lives of millions of your own citizens. So Andrea Ledsam, may she never know rest or peace.